In today's video, I'm going to be using motion flashes. What's up guys, Elliot here from Renner Films coming at you with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the muzzle flashes. Now if you're a filmmaker you'll probably know what a muzzle flash is as literally every film that has a gun has a muzzle flash. Now basically the muzzle flash is a little explosion that comes out the end of the gun, a bit like a little fire at the end of the gun. If you go on the internet you can download lots of images which have a black background, they're the kind of ones you want to get. You can also download lots of different free packs as well. So without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. Yes, so as you can see I am now in the editing software and I'm about to begin. So what we're going to go and do is press start start composition and now it should load up but my computer's going a bit slow for some reason today anyway so once you've done that you're going to want to choose the video that you want to add your muzzle flash to and you're going to edit it just so that you can get that in and you don't have all of it when you're walking up to the camera like that <clears throat> I think that's going to be enough and drag that to the start of your timeline and then what you want to go and do now is get the actual oh, muzzle flash and I have like a massive amount of these muzzle flashes and I'm going to choose this one I think let's just see yeah I'm going to use that one the good one about videos is they were already um, sorted out now, now to jump frame to frame like I am doing you're just going to press control and then the arrow keys can do that so I'm going to find the start which is about there and drag it on like so and then what you're going to go to do is the demult which basically means it gets rid of all the black like that and what you're going to do now is want to resize that so it looks about right coming out the end and you want to get this right first time as if it's too um i might turn that around no if it's too big it will look stupid if it's too small it will look stupid as well so let's just see this I think that looks okay. What you can also gonna need to do is get some sound. So I'm just gonna go back to the PC and then find the sound. Now I think I have one yes, yeah, sound effects. Uh, this is off the hit for this is no the um I think it's called um detonation films. And I'm going to have my audio at the bottom. And as you can see, this sounds very loud if I play it. I'm going to drag it in and just have it start just, yes, like this. So now we have this. You might, I'm also going to turn the volume down a bit. Maybe to about minus 15 or 40. Like, like that. I'm also going to put a letterbox on it. Oh, letterbox. If I drag that on to the bottom one. And then also the light. As you can see, it makes it look a bit more dramatic. And you can also adjust that, but it's fine. And also add a colour grading, which is from my free colour grading pack and you can download that from the I am back episode and it's called cold action I think yep and you're going to drag that on to both of oh no you go and delete that and you can undo by pressing that like that and now I have this which looks quite realistic and now I'm just going to export it by going to export to mp4 
and choosing your output location just to there. And you're going to save it as, I don't know, Muzzle Flash. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, how to use muzzle flashes so you can definitely use them in your next film. And I hope you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and comment if you have any more suggestions and until next time, bye! <laughs>